I loved when he was in his little bubble. Oh, baby Grogu, calling all Jedi. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Lofi. I'm Jinxie. And we are here for the finale of The Mandalorian. (laughs) Oh, I'm so excited. Especially because I've heard so many good things. No, no, I haven't heard any details, but I've heard a lot of really good hype. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. I'm like, trying not to look at my screen because people put thumbnails from the, because, you know, I, I watch other reactioners who I enjoy watching, and I'm just like, Okay, I cannot look at any of these because I don't want to get spoiled for right. anything. Thankfully, we, I don't think that anybody I accidentally saw posted any spoilers. They're just, like, generic pictures. Mm-hmm. So... I think because most people appreciate <sighs> the please don't spoil me. So, yeah. like, I haven't been spoiled about anything that happens. I've only seen that, like, oh, it's really good. Yeah. So, that's it, which makes me happy. <laughs> well, it doesn't help that we're so late. So, yeah. it feels like forever. I know. I want to know so bad. I hope I hope that he gets mm-hmm. Baby Yoda. I and mean, Sorry. I'll- Grogu, baby yeah. Grogu. Oh, we also found out more about Mayfield last time. Yes. Mayfield. I thought it was a fantastic, really, really interesting episode, but now I need him to take down Moff Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm hoping for is also that we'll encounter Bo Katan again, since she is tracking Moff Gideon, mm-hmm. and whoever the hell Jedi is going to show up after the rock oh, thing. God, yes, That's what I hope we is. also get in this finale. <sighs> Or, like, a hint of that if it's not going to appear I think it's going to be a hint if we do get one. I feel like that's a next season kind of thing. Yeah, because I'd I'd be happy to have it this season. Because I do feel like (laughs) Rescuing Baby Grogu is probably going to take up, like, a majority. The majority of the episode. Which it should, because I want this to happen. Um, And also, I don't really want Moff Gideon as a third uh, season season villain. villain, Unless they somehow magically manage to. I, I just feel like he's been around long enough. I'm just really nervous, and I just really want him to get baby Grogu back. I I loved the very end of the last episode, though, where he was, like, repeating Moff Gideon's words back to him and hopefully scaring him, even though I feel like he was using a tactical advantage by warning him ahead of time. But whatever. I don't think they really... The thing is, he knew they were going to be coming. It's not really losing a tactile advantage. Like, they already know he wasn't going to leave him and let him just take the baby. You just said tactile instead of tactical. Shut up. (laughs) Tactical. Did I say tactile, too? I don't even know (laughs) anymore. I might have. We're both ridiculous. I feel like we pronounce things like... In my head, it's 10% fine. 10% of the time. <laughs> I just go too quick. Like, in my head, I know what I'm saying. But then when it comes to my mouth, it's whatever the sh- whatever word is shorter than it, that's what you're getting. Whatever. Let's just go. Yes. Let's just go. I can't think of what else to talk about because I am hype. Mm-hmm. Where is the next button? Is there no next just button? Disney screen, Plus. Step one. You're killing me here. Super Soul Jaws. I don't need to rewatch this. Bad it's Iron trauma. Giants. Bad Iron Giants. Oh, there's the doctor. Is that Boba Oh, that's Fett? Boba Fett's ship. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. What's going on? Who are they? I suggest you shut your mouth. This isn't your laboratory. Wow, rude. rude much. He's concerned about you. And himself. <laughs> He's a doctor. I'm sure he cares about other people. I don't think all doctors <laughs> care about other people, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Please see the Nazis. <laughs> I did not know that we'd be getting this right away. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought they'd plan to, like, attack. Be ready, Kyle! Is the kid alive? Yes. He's on the cruise. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm not with him. We can work something. <gasps> so one of them's a believer, I guess. You want to know what else I saw? Oh, idiot. I saw your planet destroyed. Ooh, who's this awful person? Destroying your planet was a small price to pay to rid the galaxy of terrorism. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like, she's not going to miss you, idiot. Nice shot, Kara. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. Holy crap, what a start. I know. That was good. <laughs> oh, this so feels, weird. This is, feels like a throwback to the first episode. Yeah. Just entering this sort of um, bar. <laughs> yes! 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 Fancy running into you here. Not all Mandalorians are bounty hunters. Some of us serve a higher purpose. Uh, you're going to want in on this, yep. Bo-Katan. Let's get out of here. You are not a Mandalorian. Never said I was. I didn't know sidekicks were allowed to talk. <laughs> well, if that isn't the quack they're calling the stiffling slimy. <laughs> Easy there, little one. Oh? You gotta be kidding me. Mandalore. <laughs> the Empire turned that planet to glass. To glass? The Sama belonged to my father. Don't you mean your donor? Oh. oh. I've heard your voice thousands of times. Mine might be the last one you hear. Y'all need to just chill. Oh. (laughs) 
Nice. One more bar. <laughs> Same weapon against each other. Help me rescue the child, and you can have whatever you want. He is my only priority. If anybody can do it, dream team. Yes. Your shots have to look convincing. Power up those shields, princess. I'll put on a good show. <laughs> oh my god, I just love their interactions. Well, Buffett and I'm these so Mandalorians. For him to get his own show. Yeah. <gasps> okay, guys, come on. Requesting emergency docking. We are under attack. Stay clear of launch tube. Deploying fighter squadron. Damn it. Just stick with it. God, this dramatic music is so good. <laughs> the way the release looks so cool. I know. Can you even fit in there? Wait, I guess that's their only way in because the, they weren't opening up. What are you doing? Get that thing out of here. Stop. Stop. So suspicious. But I mean, no, they're already in there. That's the whole point is they wanted yeah. to be a distraction. This isn't really yeah. a problem. Oh, I'm so excited for some team fighting. Yes, 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 go. Sneaky, sneaky. His music came on. While I love his shiny armor, it's not particularly um, understated. It's very yeah. tension grabbing. Your I think they're fine. <laughs> We're heading to the frame of town. Now these stormtroopers can't keep their mouth shut. <laughs> I know, right? They're always talking in their weird action figure voices. Mm -hmm. I really hope they all make it out alive. Yeah. <laughs> you see nothing. Oh no, it's jammed. It's probably that shoddy Imperial make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, I got this. <laughs> oh no. Hurry up, no. hurry, 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 hurry. Block it off. No! Hopefully only one can get out. Oh no. Oh, no. oh, oh thank god. god. Don't you like a bigger blaster? What weapon can he use? Well, I don't know if he can- if it'll hurt the Beskar, yeah. Ow. Is he doing anything? I can't tell. It's not damaging the armor. Oh no, they're gonna break through the glass, though. Ooh, grab your spear, your spear's right I there. know, yeah. I really think the spear is the only thing that might be able to break through. Because of the strength. There you go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hurry, totally. hurry, hurry. Oh, it opened the, um, vent. The nice. Hatch. Yeah. The problem is, they're not gonna die. They might just fly back, but they can't get back in, hopefully. Where's Moff Gideon? Weapon system disarmed. Nice. And where's Baby Yoda? Moff Gideon's already gonna- yep. Oh! This is tiny shackles! No! Really? Oh. You can take him! Give me the kid. The kid is just fine where he is. No, he's not. I'm guessing that Bo-Katan and her boarding party have arrived at the bridge, but I'm not there. Really? Didn't notice. <laughs> right? I'm like, where are you going with this conversation? I think it's that let him escape. Mm. And he'll leave the kid. Whoever wields this sword has the right to lay claim to the Mandalorian throne. You keep it. I just want the no, kid. I was about to say, right? like, he, he doesn't, doesn't give care. a shit. He's here for Baby Grogo. Very well. I've already got what I want from him. <gasps> Take him. But you will leave my ship immediately and we will go our separate ways. I feel like this is a trick. No, I think Gideon knows this is the way to escape. I mean, it might be a trick, but... Because the dog yeah. hasn't even made it there yet. <sighs> Good. He's got the Beskar on. Okay. At least. Okay. Okay, get out of your spear. Oh my god. I know, you need your spear. He's... <laughs> Oh, could have just oh. taken the deal. That was good. That was good. I was about to be like, don't you need more of the kid's blood though, in case it doesn't work? Yeah, exactly. I was saying the doctor isn't even there, so I yeah. don't. Think, I think he's lying. He was lying. Oh. Take him out, Mando. Thank God he has his armor. Yes, yes, yes. 
<laughs> yes. Kill him. He deserves it. No, He's Carl good. wants him alive. Oh yeah, I forgot. Knock him out. Knock him out. Knock him out. I wish I didn't let him live. I, mean, I understand get why. why they want him to, but I don't. It's want too him any to. chances for escape. What up? Is she gonna kill him? Cut you surprise, Bo-Katan. I'm assuming Mandalorian will give over the sword. I mean, he doesn't want to rule Mandalore. That's true. That's not what she's talking about. Why don't you kill him now? Oh, oh no! Can he not hand it over to her? You have to earn it. You have to win it from the person. Oh no. He did it on purpose. Or maybe not. Maybe he was trying to tempt him with power. It belongs to her. No, that's not how you get it. She can't take it. Oh my gosh. In order for her to wield the Darksaber again, she would need to defeat you in combat. Let's set up a sparring time. I yield. It's yours. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He's just like, it doesn't work that way, though. At least for her, it doesn't. Yeah. The Darksaber doesn't have power. The story does. Come on, just take it. Oh, crap. It's the, the, the thingies. There are no life forms. They're back on the ship. Oh, gosh. I forgot about them. You're right. Oh. Yeah. There's no humans in it. They can survive <gasps> in space just fine. You had your hands full with one. Let's see how you do against a platoon. Oh, you're so annoying. No. I wish they could just kill you. You have to figure out a way to, like, shut them down. Or give up the ship. There's got to be um, some kind of ship instructions for them. Because mm -hmm. that's how they awoken, you know? Yeah, but do they have time so. to find it? None of them are tech gurus. <laughs> Uh oh, Ugh. he's acting suspicious. Of course. You guys just left some blasters on the ground? Worst. Um, oh. He's so cheesy. Or is he scared? I don't think, I don't know. It does, he doesn't look good. Like a battering ram. Should hopefully at least take him a while. Yeah, but what are they gonna do, do in the meantime? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Your smug face. I know, just knock him out. I don't know why you didn't just knock him out at least. I know, right? There's gotta be drugs on the ship. You're expecting a doctor. Well, I didn't even, I didn't even think about drugs. Let me just hit him in the head. Huh? Back up? Who's that? Yeah, it's yeah, the New Republic. I was about X to be like, come on. Incoming craft, identify yourself. Is it Boba? No, he had a different ship. Yeah, but I don't know. Oh, is it those one dudes? <gasps> it's the Jedi! <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you're right! Look at Baby Yoda! It's the Jedi! Oh, I forgot about the Jedi! Oh my gosh, it's the Jedi. Oh, I'm here for this. Is this the Jedi? Oh my gosh. Who, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Is it somebody we'll recognize? I don't know. I still haven't finished Clone Wars. Why did they stop? I haven't finished Clone Wars yet either. Uh? No, it's totally. Who is it? There's somebody close! Oh my god! Is it the Jedi? <laughs> Who's scared now, right? It's a green saber. Whatever I'm excited. Yay! I love the music. Mm -hmm. It's very classic. I love how just one Jedi I can just take him out. <laughs> I'm still worried about Moth Gideon having that blaster, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Thankfully, she has her. <gasps> Oh! oh my god! Drop it! The best car's the best. Yeah, nice. Coward. Nice. Oh. You heard your call, Grogu! Yeah. What does this mean? I know, you better stay with Mandalorian though. You three can just have adventures together, right? Yeah, 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 totally. It's so curious that they just automatically recognize the threat. Like, they mm -hmm. stopped and realized that there's a bigger threat on the ship. Yeah, well, I think they are probably all in contact with each other, like hive mind kind of thing. Mm. So the other ones that died could send them out messages. Yeah, I guess. Through the Wi-Fi. They must have, like, 10G. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Grogu. Yeah. Oh, they're so small. Well, I mean, I think the troopers are really tall, but yeah. yeah. Who are you? Like, is it a guy? Is it a girl? I think it's a guy. <laughs> I'm not for certain. If they leave us on a cliffhanger and don't reveal, I'm gonna be so pissed. Agreed. Oof. Oh. oh that was so cool. That was. 
he's here. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what does this mean? No. Stay together, stay together. This is making me nervous. Oh, my ears are flopping. Is it Anakin? No. He's missing a hand. <gasps> oh! Are you kidding me? Are you a Jedi? <laughs> I am. <laughs> nice! Come, little one. <laughs> no, you can't leave! <laughs> Not even gonna have a conversation first? He doesn't want to go with you. He wants your permission. <laughs> but he will not be safe until he masters his abilities. So he's gonna leave? Well, when he kind of has to. Thought he was gonna stay with Mando. That's who you belong with. He's one of your kind. I'll see you again. Yeah. Because he has face. <sighs> he was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> it's time to go. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Making introductions? I think so. What is he gonna do now? I don't know, I'm so upset. But also, this is like so fitting, but I'm still so upset. I know. I do hope we get to see him again. <sighs> this must have been when he was making oh his um, Jedi school. Or maybe pre-Jedi school. Yeah. I don't know. Um, is there anything you want me to write down? No. Not yet. I don't think so. Wait, what's that? It's just- There's an end credit scene? Oh yeah, I forgot! Yes! I one of my friends had posted Yeah, there's an end credit scene. Oh, thank god! We were just I forgot about the that! Credits. This is, yeah, this is totally, um, uh, what's his name? This is the same building as the originals. As Jabba? Yeah, Jabba Hut. This is the same setup as his building, so it's, I feel like it's supposed to be his. This is oh. never took Jabba's place. Oh. What's up, Fennec? Nice. That's like a... <laughs> what are they doing? I guess is this a job? Are you though? <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> I'm taking over this operation. Yeah. It's supposed to be the prep for his series. Mm hmm. <laughs> Nice. The Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> December 2021. Yeah. Now I wish I hadn't told you. I didn't realize that's what the after the, credit was. Yeah. So I oh, guess I did technically get an after credit spoiler, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I still like that they included it. Yeah. That's a cool way of announcing it. Luke, I did not expect Luke. I think Me I like neither. joked about it like two episodes ago or something. Right. But I didn't really think that they were going to put, I mean, bring bring him in. It makes sense timeline-wise, though, and storyline-wise. Because mm -hmm. where this is placed, one, you don't have a lot of Jedis left. And two, Luke does start a Jedi yeah. school. So it makes sense that he's the one who would return the call of a young Jedi. Oh, totally. I just think that it becomes more unlikely because he's a movie character. And often there's rarely crossovers between the movie and television series, even if they are the same universe or whatever, yeah. you know? But, so, because it's Mark mm -hmm. Hamill. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so funny because you were like, is it Anakin? And I was like, no. And then for then I noticed that with the glove. one glove. Yeah. And then I was like, he's missing a hand. And then <laughs> that's why I thought it might be Anakin because the missing hand thing, I totally forgot that Luke also loses his hand. Yeah. Like yeah. the whole, you know. And also timeline wise, it wouldn't have worked as Anakin, but it was more yeah, of yeah. just seeing the just, hand was what triggered yeah. it in my brain. Wow. Like, <sighs> that was such a good surprise. And also, they it also it. makes my comment of him being short extra funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a little short for a stormtrooper. But I didn't even think about it. I was like, he's so short. It, I mean, they kept that under wraps, I yeah. feel like. Oh, man. I feel like Mark Hamill really much has just been like <laughs> <laughs> laughing at yeah, everybody basically. secretly. 
I thought that the CGI was pretty good. It was a bit stiff, but also, even mm-hmm. though they have a big budget, I mean, this is a TV show, and they're never going to have, like, the same budget as a actual as a movie. movie. I mean, they do, but, like, I mean, it's well, split up. And then but. also, I don't know sort of what confines they had to deal with um, yeah. due to, like, COVID restrictions and stuff, if they had been... Like, and it was good. Stuff, like, visually, but... it looked good, oh, but no, I do totally. wish there was a little bit more facial expression that yeah. you would have gotten from, like, a real person. But for what they had, I think they did an amazing job. Yeah, but I, I think... Like I mean, was... he looked real. Yeah, I feel like when he was communicating with Baby Yoda, yeah. he would have had a little more facial expression. It's not off-kilter. It's not It's not a deal-breaker for me, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. That's basically, like, if it was going to be perfect, that's my nitpick. It's. It was so... <laughs> So exciting really and just like a really good moment and it oh and the build up to it with baby Yoda just like sensing it you know because yeah. all of a sudden he's just like really down and then all of a sudden he's like wait somebody's here and I have wanted baby y- Grogu to stay with Mando this entire time and in one way even now I still do but during this these last five minutes or whatever you could see how much he Needs. Wa- yeah, needs to be trained or how much, like, he can feel the force and he, it's almost like it felt a bit like it was calling to him. Even though he, like, loved Mando, he needed that fulfillment or the, that well, connection to the force that he had been lacking previously. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's the thing. It, that's the thing about having a father-son relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, you take care of him and you raise him, but... He is such a great talent that you have to yeah. let, give him the opportunity to learn how to use that. Yeah, so, so even though I was, like, super upset, and I am still kind of am, I, it felt like it was really fitting, and he needed to go, and it wasn't like they were trying to separate it for emo- separate them for emotional impact. Makes His sense. character arc, he needed to be trained. And then so. as much as I do love him with Baby Grogu... In terms of storyline, what would you do next season? Would yeah. it be that you don't want a third season of it being a baby Grogu chase? Yeah. You know? So go back so. to the beginning of the episode. I have to say that one of the things the series has done so, so well is really pull, or not pull, but um, really emphasize the emotional impact that the Empire has on people. That confrontation she has, uh, uh, that um, Kara has with the Imperial list. Yeah. <laughs> the Imp. Yeah. Uh, at the beginning about Alderaan and like his just callousness to her to her experience and everything and like I was there ha ha kind of thing it's something that I feel like is often kind of lacking you so you get to see a little bit more characterization about it. Especially in terms of movies because in mm-hmm. a movie you only have a certain period of time so you can only focus on the emotional impact of the main characters. The side yeah. characters sometimes get lost. Well, also you focus on the emotional impact of that moment. You yeah. don't necessarily get the fallout like you do in a series. Yeah, so I think they're really utilizing having that series advantage of having to, being able to take the time to do that world building essentially. Yeah. That, that world and character building. But it so adds so really much character it. to people like Kara mm-hmm. or like Mayfield I mean, in the last episode. And then I also loved Boba Fett con- confrontation with... Oh my confrontation? gosh. Con- thank you. Confrontation. That was weird. <laughs> with the... Came- with um, Bo-Katan and her crew. Uh, I thought that was really fun and I love that their personalities clash. And also we heard that they turned Mandalore to glass. Mm-hmm. Like... Is he just being metaphorical, or does it mean, like, mm. the fires have turned things to glass? You know what I mean? Potentially. Like, mm. oh, or maybe something sort of like lava treatments, how that sort of turns yeah. to glass kind of thing. Um, or, like, how sand turns to glass from lightning and stuff. Yeah, something, know, something like, like, that. like that. I do feel like that's probably what the third season's going to be. Yeah. As a build-up to Oh, absolutely. Especially, Especially with him with the dark saber mm-hmm. and her suggesting I that he helps. Did not realize that was going to be a, a thing once it ha- once they said it happened i was like oh crap yeah like instantly it makes sense but i'm just like oh yeah especially what we know about the mandalorian culture is quite warrior like mm-hmm. and they would want a leader who could prove themselves that conflict that they had at the beginning that's yet again another little thing that's a build off the previous uh series is oh, the previous um movies and such mm-hmm. that conflict between clones and the mandalorians or really clones and non-empire people in general yeah um, yeah because i mean her instinct of almost disgust at him being a clone mm-hmm. was really interesting i felt like so these inherent conflicts between the cultures and everything are just really well built yeah and they just really make the universe feel even more fleshed out Um, It doesn't feel like, oh, they just told us this. It was like, we literally see this impact in between these two people. Moff Gideon lived. So So that's disappointing. Yeah, but but they need the intel. Exactly. I hope he's not going to escape and he'll be the villain. I don't think he is. I I think think maybe this 
this might be the end of him for a while. I mean, we might see an interrogation or something, but I don't think him, yeah. I don't see him being a major player, maybe like a secondary in the next one. Because they do also have the doctor now. Yeah. So I don't know if they have enough of a crew left to use Baby Yoda's blood. I imagine they, of course, they probably have a backup plan. But, so that makes me wonder if next season is just going to be focused on Mandalore, or if we do still have to worry about... Because maybe, honestly, maybe next season will be focused on Mandalore, and then the season after that, it'll be like, Mm -hmm. surprise, they still had Baby Yoda's blood, they are going to do this experiment thing, and maybe Baby Yoda and uh, Luke will come back for that. Well, I wonder if we're done with the whole blood thing, and because they can't get it anymore, they come up with a different tactic mm-hmm. kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they have a different solution at that point. So, yeah. um, I wonder, and then we have to deal with that conflict again. Or, mm-hmm. if the conflict's maybe not even Empire-related, you know? Mm-hmm. That would be interesting, because I feel like this universe is so expansive. We're gonna see, there's so much more to see. Mm-hmm. I do, I think you just, eventually you do have to circle back to the Empire. Yeah. Like, next season might not be, but I feel like if next season wasn't, the next season after would have to. I hope he sees Grogu again. Well, that's why I was like, maybe next season will be Mandalore, and then the season after that yeah. will circle back to baby Grogu's blood and that, and then they'll have to reconnect with them. Also, I really like that he took off his helmet, because when we started before, I felt like it was a bit of a cop-out, like, in season one where he took it off for the droid. Like, I totally enjoyed the moment, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But... It didn't have the it same doesn't, impact. The impact that this one had and the last one of him taking it off for Grogu and the arc that he's had with um, finding out about the other Mandalorians and discovering what he, he thought sect, was truth is yeah. not truth and what how his beliefs have changed that he feels that taking off his helmet was an important... was It was it important for Grogu to see him, mm-hmm. you know, without it. Yeah, exactly. So it wasn't a betrayal. So I really loved that whole arc. Yeah, and I thought it was so good. For me, I think that's honestly probably my favorite mm-hmm. of it, it for the whole season is the Mandalore's growth. And again, it comes down to sort of that world building thing mm-hmm. of him learning that, oh, he's from an extremist sect. Uh, most Mandalorians do take off their mask. Mm-hmm. And then realizing as time goes on, being stuck in this rigid box is actually been a disadvantage to who you currently are and your current relationships and mm-hmm. your current goals and realizing that like expanding that box is good it's not a bad thing it's not betraying your religion or anything like that it's just having like emotional character growth um and built and replacing that extreme religion with actual relationships with people yeah. And so I thought that was a really well done. Um, it wasn't like him abandoning the faith or anything like that, which is essentially what happened with Mayfield, is that he yeah. just abandoned his faith, essentially, um, if we're going to view it that way. And for him, it was just, no, making it more personal. Also, I really felt towards this last scene that this was like a finale. This, um, the last season finale, actually, I feel like looking at the two seasons together, it feels more like a mid-season finale. Mm-hmm. And this feels like these two seasons form one full season uh is kind of what it feels like like i enjoyed the first season but this season just killed it for me it was so good i loved every single episode but so i feel like they they go together they fit together as one season which i i think is really cool because this one was just like holy crap the music when they were in that elevator and everything's closing up and r2 and then like yeah it just felt like the cap on this moment with baby Groku. so it it really felt like a season finale yeah. kind of epic And you really, feeling. the thing about separating uh, the Mandalorian and Baby Grogu, I feel like you really had to do something that epic. Yeah, their music choice, when you find out that it is Luke, and I was like, this is such classic Star Wars music. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and I was like, oh, because it is classic Star Wars, it makes perfect sense. I want to watch some other reactioners so I bad, know. because I do wonder how, like, some hardcore Star Put Wars your fans' is favorite f- freaking out. Oh, yeah. So tell me who I should check out. Yeah. Who I should watch. Because I, I really want to see some good reactions to that. Because this we reacted pretty strongly, and we are not, like, I mean, I, I as like hardcore Star Wars, as but I haven't watched everything. Oh, no. Yeah. There's some people who, the like, and then played the games, and they, like, know everything. I have and what? watched people play the board oh. game. <laughs> so I'm yeah. really interested to see if people freaked out. Or, yeah. That, that'll be really fun. For next mm-hmm. season, I'm really interested in the conflict that is rising a little bit between him and Bo-Katan. Mm-hmm. Bo-Katan. 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 Oh my gosh. I think it's Bo-Katan. Because it's not his fault, but at the same time, like, 
Well, he I mean, has it. She wants it. That's the thing about being the chosen one, though. <laughs> Sometimes somebody else is technically more um, birthright, but it doesn't mm-hmm. mean they're actually the right one. Granted, yeah. I don't necessarily want him to be the ruler of oh, no, me either. Mandalore, because that seems very restrictive. Um, but I am curious to see how it plays out. Yeah, and I'm also super curious to see Mandalore. So I do I hope that he's involved in this conflict because I well, want to see the planet. Is. I want to see the people that are perhaps I mean, left there or not left there. I don't, I don't know. At this point, he has no choice but to be included in the conflict yeah. because of the sword. Uh, yeah. Because she, realistically, she can't make the full play for it without the sword just because you need that historical impact in order yeah. to pull it off. Like he said, it's not about the saber. It's about the story. Like her story of, oh yeah, I beat Moff Gideon for this. I deserve Mandalore. Well, it was is was going to be the base of her power re- return. Well, I don't think it's just that. It's literally, I think, the lore of the sword. Oh it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's that literally, too. it's literally like King Arthur's yeah. sword, where you have to earn it. <laughs> so I think without that, she doesn't, ha- she won't have like the, won't be able to get the following that she needs to be yeah. like, I won this sword. And this sword belongs to the ruler, and therefore I am obviously the chosen one. Yeah, I didn't even think about the King Arthur or the Sword in the Stone parallels. Yeah, that's so, essentially what it is. is yeah. But since Mandalorians, the one who technically pulled the sword out, she, mm-hmm. they need to actually have a real battle in order for her to earn it, or he has to lose it to somebody else. I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah, but that's why I was like, I wouldn't mind him keeping it for a while. But I don't want him to be the ruler because... Yeah. Or maybe it'll be another break from tradition since that's kind of sort of what the play has been. Yeah. Maybe it'll, they'll realize that, no, this doesn't have to be the thing. We can break from tradition again. I think it's a really fantastic setup. It is. For next season. I'm really interested in it. It's different than what we've had so far. And it's something I didn't see coming that this would happen. Um, really and well so I just... Um, oh, no. The I'm show excited. is so good. Which is so funny because... We did say, like, I think a lot of people thought this season was a little bit slower, Mm -hmm. but I think it's because it's such a good build-up and wrapping, and I feel like it's one of those ones that I want to rewatch season one and season two, now that I know how it ends, to really have that full emotional feeling, because even though it was not as... I guess, I guess I don't want to say it's not as action-filled as season one, Mm -hmm. but the tone of it's a little more chill for a lot of it. Um, and I think part of it's because it is a lot of setup. I think overall, it's one of those things they're playing the long game. It's not about having this one season on its own being the most action filled, crazy, like a movie where it's yeah. the most, it, it's to have that longevity yeah. of a series. And I love that because often things do only focus on one season and then you have a great season of what it is, but then the next season is complete crap because then you're like, well, where do we go from here? Yeah, exactly. So. I feel like they all fit, they they fit in and together they make one really long ass movie. Yeah, That's a good. really good, <laughs> really good puzzle piece is put together here. Yeah. <laughs> so this I'm so happy about it. Fantastic. I, I enjoyed really... this whole season. I think this is one of my favorite shows that we watched. I, I was looking forward to every episode. So Yeah, I feel like Mandalorian does really well of, again, not having too long of seasons, but using their time wisely. Um, And then also just really good, great casting, great backstory, none of these huge plot holes. I love it. It's great. And now I really want to go watch some Mark Hamill uh, interviews. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I want to do. You want to watch people's reactions? I want to watch Mark Hamill interviews. (laughs) I want to see his reactions. Yeah, and I'm really excited for all the other Mandalorian shows. Not mainly. I guess all the other Star Wars shows that are coming. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so many. You have... um, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. And then you have the... um, Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan Anakin one coming. And also we have to do more deep diving in between these so that we can finish off Clone Wars Rebels. I have to watch the prequels and the new series and just so so much. (laughs) I'm much farther behind than you. Mm -hmm. And I don't got the time. The one thing, I mean, I guess it's a spoiler for you technically, um, but you already know it all. But yeah, I know a lot of the story. Yeah, The thing about about this though is with baby Grogu going to Luke's school, because we don't Mm -hmm. know the exact time frame. I mean, other people do. And like, so, how far was he in his training, though, before the whole um, Kylo Ren attack? Yeah. Did, did baby Grogu get away? Was he already completed training? Maybe we'll find out in the future that he didn't complete training and he left early, like Ahsoka and went yeah. with Mandalorian. So, therefore, he escaped. You or know? maybe he's, he's off with... Because he would be a Padawan. So he'd be off with the master, maybe on adventures. Yeah. So either way, his he master wasn't... were off on so, adventures when that happened. I just want to know <laughs> timeline wise, was he there? 
don't know. If they leave that as, like, a question... I mean, obviously, this isn't going to be a soon-answered question. This is something yeah. that would come, like, probably at least three to four seasons into one of these. Maybe Ahsoka's, maybe his, maybe... I don't know. Like, maybe... You know? <laughs> yeah. This is a long-term question, but they better answer it at some point. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be real upset. <laughs> you have built this emotional relationship for me. I'm upset now just thinking about it. Why did you even tell, well, like, probably, bring because, it up? That's, that was my first thought when they oh. went into the elevator with baby Grogu. I was like, but where does this fit Maybe in he took timeline? off and, and returned to the Mandalorian. That's what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. As I, they have to answer this question at some point within the yeah. next five years, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Yes. We have done enough gushing over this show. Mm-hmm. Of course, let us know your feelings on it down below. Were you as surprised as we were? Did you suspect it was him beforehand? Or I'm sure did, some people did. did. I can't believe we didn't pick up on when it. When they showed it, who did you think it was? Um, that's what I really want to know. Did you have a suspicion? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and just let us know your favorite moments down below. Everything. We love reading them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps us out a ton. And we will see you all in the next series. Bye! That was ridiculous. Ridiculous! My glasses are dirty. Now it's on. They're always dirty. Today. I know, but I don't remember. You know what? <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> hey! I have so many tabs open. I have the tab I, queen. Half of them is... Microphone research. I want a new microphone so bad. No offense, Blue Snowball. You've, you've served, served us well. well. We're not listening to what I was saying. No, I'm not. Worst sister ever. Ready? Yeah. Almost burping. Hold on. No, nope, it's not coming out. <laughs>